Well, welcome to our Alchemist shoot. Uh, this is a shoot that we've had planned for four or five months now. Uh, the reason four or five months, you'll see our model in a minute, which is uh, Mel. Um, he's actually Marlies's father and he's got a beard and he said he would uh, kindly grow his beard for us for four or five months. Uh, so it took four or five months for the shoot to, to, to mature as it were, but it's actually been during COVID, so we couldn't have done anything anyway. So we're going for, uh, it's my lounge again, which is the third shoot I've done now in the lounge. So we've collected all these little bits and bobs over, over the period. Um, this is going to be Mel's laboratory. I'm going to shoot it using my two Elinchrom battery powered flashes uh, as the main lights, and then use these two Rotolite neons just to provide extra light. That one's for light to fire up into Mel's face, and this is to come down onto the book. They're both triggered uh, from the same trigger, which is the trigger at the top of my Canon camera here. Um, I'm using my Canon 5DSR, the 53 megapixel camera, um, and I'm using the 24 to 70 lens. And I've got it uh, set at 50 mil, uh, which is an aperture, uh, sorry, a focal length I like to use uh, whenever I'm, certainly whenever I'm shooting people, and indeed whenever I can, because as you probably know, 50 mil is actually the um, focal length that your eye sees at roughly. So as long as you shoot at 50 mil, there'll be no distortion at all. It will all look okay. I'm shooting tethered, which I like to do in these situations. And what that means is that when I fire a shot away, so if I fire a shot away now, then you will see it will come up on the screen. Um, and the advantage of that is that it means we can see uh, very quickly if everything's sharp, so I can obviously uh, zoom in and make sure everything's sharp. It's taken a little while for the screen to resolve the 53 megapixels, but it'll pop in in a minute. There we go, it's gone sharp now. So I can check that it's sharp at the front, and I can check that it's sharp at the back. Um, of the, there we go, this is a bowl that I'll explain in a minute. I like to shoot in this tethered way. I think it's a great way you, you see the picture bigger. You can really see if there are any lighting problems really quickly. The equipment uh, itself in, in our um, Alchemist laboratory, we've had great fun collecting this over the last four or five months and we've just been scouring around. Uh, the books were the hardest thing to come by, really old, authentic books, but we were lucky. Mel said he thought he'd got some in his loft and when he went up he bought these down and went, yeah, a real bonus. Um, the quill pen, it is a real quill pen, I bought that off eBay just for a few quid, it really will write if we wanted it to. Uh, the powder here is coloured um, sugar. We've coloured it with food colouring and dried it out. And, and these bowls here, this one and this one at the back here, we're going to put dry ice in them. So we've got some dry ice. First time I've ever experimented with it, but that creates like a lovely, uh, lovely smoke effect or fog effect coming over. So we hope it's going to add a bit of atmosphere, but it may work, it may not. Okay, so here we go, we're loaded up with the dry ice. The dry ice goes into the ice cage. We'll start from that side of the page, brilliant. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, brilliant. Uh, just need to straighten you. Just go with it, screw it. Okay. Okay, start, that's it, brilliant. Just follow it across. Punch over a little bit more with your face, that's it, that's it. That's it, all the way across. Brilliant. The magnifying glass a bit up to your eye, you know, a little bit up, that's it. Brilliant, right, now pick up the quill pen, put the magnifying glass down. And we'll start with the quill pen again, Mel, and remember just trace the, you basically were just tracing the characters. Brilliant. Brilliant. Fantastic, right, pick up, put that in your quill holder and pick up the tube. That's it, and yeah, okay, up we go. And we Bit higher. Cool. 
Try and find last bit lower. Lower, a bit lower. And then hunch right over. That's, that's cool. Now go to the right, to the right. 